Hi there, this is Karen Turner. I'm going to show you today a snippet of one of my data manipulation lessons in Excel. In this lesson we're going to use a formula to combine columns. We're going to split up column data, move data to another location and customise the number formats. So first of all, the formula that I'm going to teach you is to concatenate data. So all Excel formulas start with equal sign and as I start to type the formula name concatenate you can see a list appears of all the formulas which have got CON at the beginning. So concatenate is right up there at the top and I'll just double click. This saves me typing it and it includes the first bracket. Then what data do I want to add together? Well I'm going to take the title there and as part of this formula I just add other data from other columns that I want, so the first name, the initial, the last name. Okay, now when I do this and tick enter here, you'll see there are no spaces between. So to put spaces between, I just go after the first comma and put speech marks and a space with the space bar and then a comma again. And I'll repeat that every time I want a space in the data. So in other words, I'll want it between each part of someone's name. And there you go. Now because I've got data in the column to the left I can use a little trick here to just copy down the data by double clicking on the bottom right hand corner. Um, that data is now the result of a formula. You can see up here in the formula bar equals concatenate. So if I copy it I need to pop it right next door and use paste values so I get that data as just ordinary data. If I can just show you here, you can see that's ordinary data now, not as I brought it over the result of a formula. So I'll just take this data out, that's the result of the formula, and move that data in. Okay, so you might want to do the opposite of that. You might have data that's in your list like this, all joined up and you don't want it joined up, you might want it to come down to a different location over here and to be displayed as different columns particularly if you want to sort by last name. What I do here is I go to the data ribbon and I use the text to columns button which is in the data tools group. This gives me the opportunity to take the data through a wizard and I'm going to use a delimited characters choice there. So I click on next and I see a little preview of it. I just need to take out the tick from tab, click on space. You can see that the lines are showing you which cells they'll fall into. So the next step is to say where do I want it to go? So instead of where it is, I want it to go into this cell here. And all I need to do is identify the first cell that I want the data to appear in and it will just drop in nicely for me. So if I click on finish, there you see it. Another piece of data here that is quite useful to me is the phone number data. And maybe I want to split that up into area code and phone number. So I'll use the same method text to columns and I'll just say next on the first screen there and it again is divided by a space which is excellent. Then when I want to drop it down I would like it to go to cell K19. So if I just highlight that K19 is the one I want it to go to and I finish now there's a slight problem with my data there that it's taken off all the leading zeros. So if you ever need to put the leading zeros back in, you select anything in a column that you need leading zeros on. And if you call up your number format box, which you can do with a shortcut, control and one, and you can go to custom and over type where it says general and put in the number of characters that you want and this is numbers that I want in this case so I want five one two three four five put them in as zeros and you can see in the sample there it will add a zero before the first of the numbers so it's keeping the characters for me so if I say okay that just transforms that data into something that's really usable for me that is the end of this demonstration